is climate change a conspiracy? Global warming, a conspiracy, a big phony, a hoax, someone just made it up. Well, one way to look at this is also to look at the, the opposite conspiracy theory that climate change is actually a real, a real problem and that other groups of people are trying to uh, undermine it. Now with any conspiracy theory, uh, the motivations behind it obviously, it's vested interest. What well, people have got something to gain from promoting a particular conspiracy theory. Okay, so the first, first example, <coughs> climate change is, is a big old hoax, it's all made up, it's phony. Who's got to gain from that? Well, it seems to be maybe, I don't know, groups of scientists protecting research budgets or uh, I suppose the renewable industry, solar power, wind power, because, uh, you know, those things are, are partly a solution to climate change, so they've got something to gain. So that's number one. So the opposite conspiracy theory that it's, uh, climate change is real <coughs> and that other groups of people are trying to undermine it. Okay, well, who's got to gain from that conspiracy? Well, it's the oil, gas and coal industries, it's fossil fuel industries. Because um, obviously climate change is a, is a big inconvenience uh, for those guys. I, I don't even attempt to try and put a, a figure, more than, you know, multi-trillion dollar global industry of fossil fuels. What's that for a, a trillion, a quadrillion, I've no idea, but it's, it's, you know, the global economy runs on fossil fuel. So, obviously, as I say, climate change is inconvenient for, for fossil fuels it means they've got to cut back on their business and they don't want to do that really. So, okay, number one, climate change is a phony, a little bit of money involved there maybe. And number two, climate change is real, being undermined, quite a lot of money involved there. So with any kind of conspiracy theory, you, it's, the, the answer is easy, follow the money, follow the money, follow the money. Um, solar panels and wind power, a few scientists on one hand, apart from beer on the other hand, fossil fuel industry on the other. I think the scales tip in favour of, uh, well that's the wages on that side isn't it, big pile of cash for oil, gas and coal. So it's just in the, as a financial analysis, the weight is in favour of the conspiracy theory to say that climate change is, is real and is being undermined by those vested interests of fossil fuels.